The OctaTrack is all times ready to record audio. In this video, we'll take a closer look on how manual real-time sampling works. We'll be sampling a beat from this machine drum, which is connected to input AB of the OctaTrack. Each of the eight tracks features a track recorder. Track recorders are always available, meaning you don't have to assign a machine to start sampling. A track recorder can sample external sources connected to any of the four audio inputs. A single input, an input pair, or both input pairs can be sampled. Internal tracks can be sampled as well. Initiating track recorder sampling is very easy. Press a track button plus the audio record button corresponding to the input or inputs you want to sample from. Should you want to sample an internal track, you press a track button plus the MIDI button. Samples captured by the track recorders are stored in recorder buffers. One recorder buffer for each track recorder exists. The recorder buffers are located in the flex sample slot list. Let's assign recorder buffer 1 to track 1. By doing this, we can immediately play back the sample we are going to capture from the machine drum. If needed, detailed adjustments can be made to the track recorders. In the recorder setup menu, various settings for the track recorders are found. First, select the track whose track recorder settings you want to edit. Then press function plus one of the audio record buttons to open the menu. The in AB and in CD settings control which inputs of the two input pairs the track recorder should listen to. This parameter controls for how long the track recorder will sample. The length is shown in sequence of steps. A max setting will capture audio for as long as the track recorder allows, which is about 16 seconds. The setting here controls how the track recorder will behave. When one is chosen, the sampling process will be restarted each time the button combination initiating sampling is pressed. One two will start the sampling process once the button combination initiating sampling is pressed. The process can then be stopped by pressing the button combination again. This is the mode we are going to use when sampling the machine drum. Hold will only record audio for as long as the button combination initiating sampling is pressed and held. Here you can set which internal source the track recorder should sample. Here you choose if the recorded sample should loop or not. Before sampling the machine drum, open the mixer menu and make sure the DEAR AB is set to 127. This will route the machine drum to the OctaTrack main outputs. Now, let's sample. These LEDs light up, which indicate inputs AB are receiving an audio signal. To sample this beat with track recorder 1, press the first track button and audio record AB. We have now captured the sample. The OctaTrack will automatically calculate the BPM of the sample loop and time stretch it so it matches the internal BPM. If the calculation is off, you can correct it later. To play back the sample, place a sample trig on track 1. This will trig the recorder buffer that is assigned to the track. Press play and listen to the sample. As all audio handled by the OctaTrack can be totally elastic, we can change the tempo of the OctaTrack and, as you can hear, the sample loop will be time stretched accordingly. <laughs> 